Hey everybody, Tom Trams with the FujiNet project, and I wanted to show you a demonstration of a program that uses the built-in JSON parser on the FujiNet. It makes developing web applications very easily. But I won't show you how to program it just yet. Uh, that will be in another video. I'm just going to show you the ISS tracker in action. To start, all we need to do is go to Atom Apps and go to the Displays folder and pick ISS.ddp. We can quick boot it. We'll see here in just a few moments, once it comes up, we'll be presented with a map display and the current position of the International Space Station, along with its coordinates. We can, of course, refresh it at any time. It will refresh every, uh, it'll refresh every two to three minutes, but you can press refresh at any time by pressing the smart key four. And of course, you can also see who's in space. You get a listing of each astronaut. Pressing then pressing six will move you to the next one. And all of this data is actually being pulled from a few different JSON web API sources, parsed by the FujiNet and sent over to the Atom to be displayed. Because of this, the code actually does that does all of this is actually very simple. You can see the link to the code in the description for this video. In addition, we also have the ability to do an orbital track, so we can see future positions of the ISS over the next 24 hours. Well, so the next 20 orbital positions or so. a complete orbital path. It looks like I need to do a little bit of finagling with the orbital path calculations, but I can do that just fine. But I'll be making little bug fixes to this over the next couple of days. But, I mean, there we go. So, here we are, um, the ISS tracker. Uh, show you how easy it is to take and pull into existing internet sources. So, until next time, guys. Have fun.